We're here with Bob Mitchell. He's the president of the Bay Area Houston Economic Partnership. Now, unfortunately, this week we are going to start seeing some of the NASA layoffs. Jennifer, we are going to see some layoffs, but these layoffs that were they're going to occur this week, we, we knew they were going to happen. The real issue is what's going on at NASA headquarters with Lori Garver and her group about cutting the budget. And they're, they're basing, basing this on a continue, continuing resolution. Uh, they've sent down message that we're cutting the budget from $250 million to $190 million a month, which is going to affect a tremendous amount of layoffs, which are totally unnecessary. Uh, so October 1 is the date that those, those layoffs are going to surprise us. Those could very easily be 12 to 1,500 jobs that, that aren't necessary. Uh, it's, it's, again, it's NASA headquarters uh, playing games with the people of the Johnson Space Center. And that's what's confusing to me is I thought they were actually getting an increase in funding. So why are they cutting now? Well, you know, it's, you know, the, it's all the devil's in the detail. And when headquarters makes announcement, uh, they're notorious for not providing all of the detailed information. And basically what they've done is they've taken a, a, a budget that we're currently spending about $250 million a month and reducing that to $190 million a month. And when you do that, you're talking about people. You're talking about laying people off. And if they, go, if they do go through the continuing resolution, when they do pass a budget in January or February of next year, those 1,300 people or 1,500 people, however many that number's going to be, you're going to need them back again. And then it's going to be too late. So then NASA headquarters has accomplished what they wanted to accomplish, and that's to put a stranglehold on the, on the current program of record. With the announcement of layoffs, there are a lot of companies banding together that are looking to hire people. There are 63 companies here at this job fair looking to hire people both local and in surrounding areas. But what we're looking for right now is opportunities for the future. I highly recommend that people go to the website, set up a profile. What it does for them by setting up a profile is two things. One, it allows them the opportunity to put a resume electronically in our database and based upon the skill sets that set on the resume, we're able to do searches for open positions.